Hi everyone, my name is Beth and I'm a Creative Workflow Manager here at Getty Images. You may have watched our other videos and downloaded our Contributor app, and now you're ready to apply to be a contributor with Getty Images and iStock. Planning your first shoot may feel a bit overwhelming, so while you're waiting for your application to be reviewed, I'm going to go over a few steps to help talk you through the basics. From researching your shoot to seeing your work on our sites, here's a few things you'll want to keep in mind. Ahead of shooting, you'll need to plan out where and what you are shooting. Then you'll want to find models to use in your shoots. Don't forget, a release is required for all content that includes recognizable people or properties. Make sure you're prepared to ask models and property owners to sign releases ahead of your shoot. That will make it much easier for you when it's time to upload your work. Now that you've planned your shoot, you're ready to get going. Be creative and think outside the box. Remember to set your camera to capture the highest quality possible. With that in mind, visual and emotional impact are key. The quality of the image you create is more important than the equipment you use to shoot it with. After your shoot, you may need to do some minimal post-production editing on your files. This might include filters, cropping, color correcting, and so on. Remember that most customers see your files first as thumbnails, so make sure the composition, concept, and color grading catch the eye. Customers generally want to apply their own final treatment on the content they license, so keep yours to a minimum. Do only what you need to make your imagery look its best. You may also need to do some retouching on your files. Retouching might include things like removing logos or trademarks that are visible in your files. Files that you upload cannot contain copyright protected or trademarked materials. Our editors will not accept them. Now that you've edited and retouched your files, you're ready to upload them for us to review. This can be done on your desktop or through our contributor app. You'll also be able to upload any releases that go with your shoot. Make sure that all of the fields on your releases are filled out correctly before uploading. Customers expect variety between different compositions, perspectives, and moments from each scenario. But they don't want to see everything you shot, so make a selection of only your best files to upload. So you've uploaded your files, now you'll need to add some basic metadata. Metadata includes a title, description, location, and keywords for each file. Keywords are really important because they help make it easier for our customers to find your work when they search on our sites. Adding metadata is made even easier through our Contributor app. Once you've uploaded your files and releases and added the metadata, you're ready to submit for review. Our editors carefully review your submission for legal, technical, and release requirements. And sometimes it can take a bit of time, but we haven't forgotten about you. Editors just want to make sure that everything is at the standard that our customers have come to know and trust. And if there's any corrections needed, our team of editors will let you know. If there aren't any issues with the files in your submission, they will be published on gettyimages.com or istock.com. Our customers now see your files among the search results when looking for creative imagery for their projects. We'll help you learn more about what content we need, technical guidelines, and other information to help you be successful. If you haven't applied yet, download our Contributor by Getty Images app, apply today, and help us move the world with imagery. Once your application's approved, follow these steps and our other creative resources, and you could be on your way to your first sale. I hope you found this information helpful, 